Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a tiny prefab home built so strong, apparently it can be buried. No, I'm not talking about a coffin, I'm talking about a tiny precast house that's on the ambitious mission of providing a comfortable and indestructible house that's affordable for everyone in the world. Ambitious indeed. This specific home is relatively new, the product of the last two years introduced to combat rising home prices. However, the company that came up with the idea isn't new at all. They've been around for the better part of a century. Affordability is a major concern all over North America and much of the world right now, so when you combine that aspect with a cool design, the heads start turning. Small footprint homes are gaining popularity. There are a ton of new homes coming to market, but this one definitely has some features that I've never seen before that are worth a closer look. What I'm gonna do is show you the home, tell you a bit about the people who design it, and of course, I'm gonna let you know how much it costs, so let's do it. This is the Huga home designed by Grandio Architects. The U has two dots over it, which honestly means nothing to me. So I think it's Huga, could possibly be Huga or Haga. Either way, it's a movable home that comes in three residential sizes built from reinforced concrete. The exterior of the home is pretty much a concrete rectangle, but I really don't mind the look of it at all. It's kind of slick, really. If you aren't a fan of the concrete look, it's noted on their website that another material can be added over the concrete after the fact, and there are renderings of homes with wood siding that look very sharp. Fun fact, a Business Insider article claims that the home is bulletproof, which, if true, would be a great conversation piece, but you really have to hope that you never have to test the claim. Another article on Arcello backs up the claim on the home strength, noting that the home is indestructible. Indestructible? Very bold claims being thrown around on the Huga. I feel like there should be a footnote that says indestructible within reason, so people aren't throwing test grenades at their new home to impress the Joneses. Inside the home, you'll find one bedroom, a relaxed zone, kitchen, bathroom, and living dining room. The designer's idea was to be able to accommodate the owner at every stage of life, starting home ownership with the one bedroom home just described and having the ability to add on a one bedroom unit or living space units as a family grows and more space is required. The home can be shipped all over the world and doesn't require a foundation, so it can be set up in a single day. It says the home can withstand snowfall in Quebec, tornadoes in Florida, or the humidity of Louisiana. Wait, is Florida even known for having tornadoes? The point that they're trying to get across is that the home is well built and can handle harsh environments. Let's look at the residential models. The idea for Huga came from professors on the Grandio team that noticed that their students wanted different things from life than previous generations. They noticed that today's youth want to travel, explore, not be limited by social structures, live where they want and align with whatever they believe. Those revelations helped them come up with the Huga, a fully designed and ready to move home that can be placed wherever you want. The name Huga comes from a Danish concept on life based on living in alignment with yourself and nature while enjoying the company of your loved ones, making the concept my second favorite Danish invention right behind the pastry. The founders envision the Huga lineup forming communities of like-minded people which they think will appeal to the tiny home crowd, and I agree. The biggest in the fleet is the Huga home. It's 484 square feet and was designed so the user has more time and freedom to enjoy life. It can be located in any region without losing energy efficiency. One size down from there is the Huga loft, a compact version of the home at 348 square feet or 136 square feet smaller than the Huga home. Both models can be fully customized, the interior and exterior finishes can be adapted to the buyer's taste and according to the environment it is located. Finally, they have the Huga Plus, which is an add-on space to a Huga or any other building. The Plus is 226 square feet and has potential as an office, guest room, or whatever your needs require. It's an added space, use it for whatever needs more space. Simple. On top of that, they do have two more models that are geared towards commercial buyers. They have the Huga Suite, which was designed for the hotel industry. The interior of the suite is split into lofted bedroom, bathroom, and living room with a fold-out. It's different than a standard hotel room. I think it would be fun to stay in something with a lofted area. Given the choice, I'm taking the Huga Suite over a standard hotel room any day. Another use case that came to mind was adding a suite to a property where a family had outgrown their existing home, but the property was large enough for another dwelling. Kind of like an accessory dwelling unit, but without the kitchen. Their final offering is the Huga Business, which gives a quick and efficient response for the demand for offices, shops, or stores. 
I could see these being a higher end alternative to the temporary mobile offices you see at job sites for companies who are looking for a medium to long term solution. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? They're usually yellowish off white with orange trim. These would be a more comfortable option for construction sites that are going to be around long term for teams that like their creature comforts. The Huga home was designed by a company called Grandio Architects out of Argentina who have been in this racket for over 75 years and have built over 2,000 residential units. They're a family run operation and the fourth generation working within the construction industry. The homes are now available for pre-order and can be shipped anywhere in the world. Apparently most of their interest so far is coming from North America, however they have received requests from clients in Germany, South Africa, Australia and Singapore. I wasn't able to locate a base price on the actual Huga Technology website, however I did find a Business Insider article that lists the home at $75,000 back on January 3rd of 2021, but that price could very well be outdated by now. Pricing for most manufactured prefab or tiny homes has increased this year as a result of demand, material shortages, and a few other factors, so if I had to guess, I would wager that the price of the Huga has gone up as well. A few of the costs that potential buyers have to be aware of before signing up for the pre-order is shipping the home to wherever they're located, site prep, and setup. As far as affordability goes, I think the Huga home has found a sweet spot between cool and price without going too far in either direction. It's not the most affordable option available, but it does have a unique look and offers some different benefits that I think people will be willing to pay more for. The Huga home is another great addition to the thriving tiny prefab market. More companies are entering the market offering homes that can be set up easy and moved to a new location without too much trouble. A sign of the times and what's important to the next generation of home buyers. The Huga home kind of reminds me of the Coda Loft out of Estonia. They both have the same no fuss exterior that seems to be very popular right now. There isn't a ton of information available on Huga yet, but I think there will be demand for their homes, so I'll be following along with Huga Technologies as things progress. This is a very interesting space that I think will continue to grow as people look for the perfect combination of cool factor and affordability, so as I find them, I will post them right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufacturing videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.